Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Coffee here. And today we're going to be teaching you how I tackle a converted cross stitch diamond painting. Now this little diamond painting came to us from Jaded Gem Shop. I will link it down in the description box of this video, along with the other supplies you might see in this video that you might be curious about. So first things first, how do I tackle this? Because this is a very daunting task when you don't have the picture printed on the canvas. So this is going to look, when you get your canvas, if you saw the unboxing, this only comes with the canvas, which is numbered, and then a printout of your legend. Now, if you do want to get a printout of your pattern, you can request a printout of your pattern from the website. You just want to put it in the notes section or something like that um, on the website before you check out. You want to let them know that you would like for them to send you a printed copy of the pattern. Now, mine didn't come with one, but you can request them. Or if you're like me and you already have a printer at home, you can print it off at home because they do send it out to you. So when I ordered it a couple of days later, I got the PDF file to print it out. And so I printed it out myself. And so you're going to get your legend in the box. You're gonna wanna make sure, first things first, you're gonna wanna make sure your numbers match up because as you saw in my unboxing, there was a little bit of a hiccup with one of the colors as it had been discontinued. So they replaced it with another color, which I was unaware of. And uh, so I had to contact Jade and ask what was going on with that. She got it all figured out for me. So I know I have the right colors. Um, so you're going to want to make sure your colors are correct and then you're going to want to kit up your, your diamond painting. Now my diamond painting only has 12 colors because I wanted something super small because this is a little bit of a daunting task. I don't diamond paint much nowadays uh, so I didn't want anything super huge that's going to take me forever. So I just got a little 30 by 30 uh, mini converted cross stitch and that's just so that I can experience what it's like to do one of these and maybe teach you guys how I would do this if I'm doing it which obviously I am. So as you can see, I've gotten quite a bit done. I've gotten the whole bottom done and I'm starting to work on the second row here or the third row, I think it is. And so I'm gonna do one little 10 by 10 square with you today, okay? So after you kit up your diamond painting, you're gonna wanna get yourself uh, some boats. Now I would recommend <laughs> numerous boats. Normally I would never recommend this, but for this type of project, I would, also, I would easily recommend having out multiple boats, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do first, um, you're going to get yourself some release paper. Now this is release paper. This paper came to us from crafts with Crashly. Um, and so I would get yourself some release paper. If you don't have release papers like this or like the ones that come from diamond art club or anywhere else, um, you're going to want to get some parchment paper. Now never use wax and you want to use parchment, but not the cheap stuff because the cheap stuff will tear up your kit. So good parchment paper or release papers. And what I did was I figured out where my part, my pattern stopped and started, okay? So this is five squares up and you see the bold lines on your pattern here. That's your 10 by 10 squares. And you can count the squares like one, two, three, four, five, and then you would block it off, which is what I did here, okay? So when we lift this up, this is my one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So that is this entire sheet is this section right here, okay? But to make it a little less daunting for myself and not to confuse myself, I made it even smaller by doing this. So I'm gonna cover up the numbers up here because I'm not gonna need them for this one. I'm just gonna cover them up. Okay, it's gonna make it a little less daunting for me because, you know, again, this is my first time. Take it easy on me. And I'm gonna try to show you this without making a mistake, but it is super easy to make a mistake because one wrong drill and your whole canvas will be off, okay? So I'm gonna try to show you this without making a mistake. So here we go. So I've sectioned off my kit so that I'm only seeing the section I'm supposed to be working on in the area that I'm supposed to be working on. So this little two by two uh, square here is where I'm gonna be working. And essentially where that is, if you're looking, 10, 20, 30. So this last block is going right here. So this is the block we're gonna be working in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out the colors. So I already started, cause I wanted to make sure I got that one out so I didn't have to pull out a whole boat for that one little block. And then I have X's. I'm gonna pull out my X's. Also, 
if you have one of these, now is the time to use it. Now, I typically don't use these because I don't necessarily need to and I don't like using multiple boats, but with this project, I've fallen in love with it, okay? So I got this from Squippy Dog a couple of years ago. I don't think they make it anymore, but I'm pretty sure there's other sellers out there that do make them. So as long as you have a tower like this, it's going to be your best friend. So uh, it's helping me keep my drills in place and keeping them in there and safe and secure. So we're going to need the X. We're going to need the triangle. So I'm going to find, and not all of them fit in there, so I do have some off here to the side. So I have my triangle here. I'm going to need the circle, and this circle is color 740. So I'm going to look for the color 740, which is right here. Let's see, we got the triangle, we got the X, and we got the circle, okay? Now, to start this off, I already started, like I said, because I wanted to get that one from the 900. I wanted to get that one down, so I did. And then I went ahead and put the X under it, okay? So the X is that brighter color. So I'm gonna do this line by line, essentially. So like a, like a, a typewriter. So this first line here, is that one color in all X's. So here's my X's. And then we're just gonna line these up because when you're working on this, you're gonna wanna find a pattern and follow that pattern, okay? So I'm gonna line these up and then put them here. Now it's not gonna touch this line, so I'm gonna take that away because we're not, we're not gonna be working on that line. You only wanna count up for however many you're working on. So I'm only working on that 10 by 10 square. So from that dark one to that bold line right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that tells me I have it in the right spot. So I'm not gonna be putting anything on that counted line yet. You will add drills to those lines. If I was you, I would not worry about those lines too much. You can use them as a guide if you want to, but for the most part, you will be covering them. So don't focus so much on the numbers on the canvas itself. At least that's not how I'm doing it. So I'm not focusing on the numbers on the canvas. I'm focusing on the actual pattern itself, okay? So I know I have the correct uh, drills laying down here. So for this next row, and I'm gonna start pulling these out of their containers here. Because this one wasn't out. So that is the triangle. And then we have 740, which is the, the thing. And you also wanna make sure you label your containers so that they're labeled nicely because as you can see, I have 740 and 741, which for me, being colorblind, look almost identical, okay? They look almost identical. So I have to make sure everything's labeled properly with their symbols. So we have one, two, three different symbols. So I have the three different colors out here. Um, so our first row is done here. The next row says one circle. So we're gonna put the one right here. And then the rest of it is 900, okay? I don't wanna be showing you the pattern too much because uh, that's bad. <laughs> So we're gonna put those down there and then we're gonna count to make sure that we have the correct number. Now, do you have to count every row? No, you should start to see things start to line up. Um, if you are at all curious as to if you're doing it correctly, you can always count it. And that's what we're gonna do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then that one circle, okay? Next, we're gonna have one triangle and I'll show you this part. So we've completed these two rows. So we're now going to this row. So we just need one triangle, one circle, and then the rest are these 900s, okay? So I'm just gonna bring them down quick. And we should have another row done. Now, what you can do 
because we just did this one. What you can do is you can now fo follow the pattern up here if you want to. So you see how we have, we just put one down. So we would need one, two, three, four, five, six. So six more of the triangles. So we're gonna grab six more of those. Three, six. And we're gonna put those six right here. And then we need one of the circles for 740 right there, okay? And that completed that line. So we have these, and you also, you can use Pattern Keeper and there's another pattern program that you can use to keep track of this. I like doing it manually in hand. Um, so we just completed this one and this one and we completed this one. So we started here, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we completed the top row. So we're gonna mark that off as well, okay? Next, you just have to follow the pattern. So right below it, right below it, we have one circle right below the last circle we placed. And then we have four triangles. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then we have two more because we already placed one of the 740s. So we have, uh, we need two more of these to complete that row. Okay. And then going down to the next one, we're gonna need two X's. So one, two, oh, sorry, wrong place. Again, be very careful. One drill can knock this all out of whack. And then we need, cause we stopped at the X, right? So we just need the five circles. So we're gonna pick up five drills and we're gonna place them. Boom, we finished another row. It's that easy, okay? Now I say it's that easy, but do keep in mind, this is not easy at all, okay? I've only been working in small amounts on this because it's hard to talk and do this at the same time because I don't wanna make a mistake. I've recorded this video three times trying to make sure I don't make a mistake um, and each time was a fail. So we're gonna try this for lucky number four. <laughs> Because again, one drill will knock this whole thing out of whack. So starting here, we have the two X's here coming down and we have the two circles. We need another circle, one circle. And then we need five triangles, three, four, five. And then one X, boom, got it. Okay. Next row, we're gonna need four of those triangles. So we're gonna grab four of them. We're gonna need one circle. So one circle and then two more X's. We're gonna mark it off. It's very important that you mark it off as you go or you will mess yourself up. That's how I messed myself up the last couple of videos. And then we're gonna do that again, minus the circle. So we're gonna do four triangles. So four triangles. And then we're gonna do three X's. Now I have been experiencing uh, some knobbly bits on the drills. And because I'm super particular about my squares, uh, oh, sorry, I have been pulling them out. So I have my little trash tray here, my little skillet. All right, so we just did this one. So we did the four and then the three, right? And then we should have three lines left. One, two, three, perfect. So then one triangle. 
And the reason I'm not going over to the number line is because we're not using that line yet. That line is right here, which is the next page. So you can cover up that line if it's helpful. Um, what you can also do is say like, okay, we're gonna go up to this row here just to show you how, to, how I would section this off. So I know that the first one here on the number 10 is gonna be this, this circle, right? This is another easy way I, I, I thought of doing it. And then on the last row of this is going to be the X. Then all the way across, count over 10 and do whatever that last symbol is over there. So the last symbol over there is gonna be the triangle, right? So we're gonna grab the triangle. We're gonna count over 10, including the one you just placed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then all the way down on that same row, you're gonna put one of these. One, hold up, let me make sure I'm doing that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, now I don't think it's supposed to go there, so I think it's supposed to come here because it's supposed to line up with the numbers. So then we are gonna push that that way. So essentially, you, that's how you would block it off. You would just take one of each color. Yeah, because if I remember correctly, this should be a number one. No, that's not a number one. That's a number 10 there. So when we start at this row, and if that gets, you see how it's confusing right now? If it gets confusing like that and you're trying to figure it out, do this. So I know I started this row off with that circle and the thing, and then I had the one X. This is where I started. So I'm gonna go right back to where I started on this row, cause that's going right above it, okay? So I found where I had placed one and then went right above it with that circle. So it is supposed to be here. And then if I went up 10, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's when you can use the numbers. So then 10, and then we would come over here and here, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then down. So you could block, sorry, you might wanna be able to see what I'm doing. So you can kind of block it off like this with the numbers that end in the corners. So on this particular row, we're right here. So the circle is the start. Up here at the top is uh, the thing, which I know that this is supposed to be here. I feel like that's supposed to be there because I feel like that block might be something else, but I could be wrong. So we're gonna put it back. Because again, if it gets confusing for you like it is right now, look at where you started on this row. So on this row, we started with an X. So if my X is that bright orange color, so it's gonna be this last one right here. This is where I st this is where I stop. That is this one right here. Right above it is going to be the first circle. And then just use that as a guide. Then go up 10, over 10, down 10. And that will give you the square in which you're gonna be working in. And then just follow from those squares, okay? So we'll show you that here in a few seconds, hold on. So let's finish this row, okay? So we got a, we got down our one triangle and then we're gonna get down two of these, two, two circles. And then the last four are going to be X's. So we got that. The next one's gonna start off with a circle. And then we're gonna need a circle right underneath it as well. Okay. And then we're gonna need three X's. So we're gonna put down our three X's. We're gonna need two more circles. So we're gonna grab two circles. And then we're gonna need one more X. Boom. I'm just a little worried because these drills are sitting pretty tight together. 
Um, so I'm really hoping that there's no popping drills because this is a lot of work to put in for uh, something like that to happen. Um, so next we're going to put down two X's. Okay. And then the rest of that four, which technically it's five, so it's one, two, three, four, five, but we already placed one, so we only need four of the circles. So we're going to get four drills. Boom. Okay. So we have our next row done. So we have this row right here done now. And you can do this however it's easiest for you. If it's easier for you to use Pattern Keeper or any other uh, cross-stitching app, uh, use the cross-stitching apps. If it's easier for you to do it manually, do it manually. Do whatever is easiest for you. Okay, so the part that I was confusing you on up here at the top, one way to make sure that you're doing this correctly is, so we're going to find where we started. So this is the first thing that we started with because the last row over here had two. So there's the two colors right there. So th that's those two colors right there. Hold on, let's bring you down. So there should be three X's here. Okay, so we're going to see a dark color, which is the 900, and then it's going to go to the dark, or the X, which is the 946, which are these three here. So this row started off with one. There's that one, that last one. And then it goes into the, the 740 and the 741. So 740, 741. But we're going to go back to that first X. Right above it is where that circle is going to go. So that's where we place that first drill. And then to keep us in that square, to make sure we don't go out of it or know where we're, we're going to be going, we're going to count up 10. So here's our square or our, our circle. And we're going to count up 10 and it's going to end on an X. So I put the X color up at 10. Okay. And then you're going to want to go across 10. So it ended on that X. Then we're going to go across and it's going to be a triangle that we're going to leave there. So that's what we left there, a triangle. That's the color for the triangle. And then you're going to count down 10. And counting down 10 is going to give you that triangle as well. Or, sorry, it's going to give you the X. So that's what I put there. And so now, when we go to work on it, okay, because we blocked it off, I now know that this row needs four of those circles. I already have one down, so I'm going to get three more. So we should have four. And then an X. And then two circles. circles and they're not want to go on right today and then two triangles so then we're gonna get two of the triangles boom now going off base off of that you can either go like I did which is straight across or up and down but you wanna you wanna essentially go in. I, I like going in a row, which is why I say about having multiple baskets out. Because then, as I'm going through, like you saw, I'm gonna go over, and I know I need three for five, five X's. So very easily for me to come over and grab five X's, and then we're just gonna place those down here. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you're counting. One circle. And this should end on that, that triangle, right? And then we're going to need three more of the triangles, which will make four all together. And then you see how it ended on the triangle? Just like that. Okay. And then we can follow a pattern from there. So we see four triangles. So we're gonna put down four triangles here. Then we need three X's. Five. 
if I can get three. And then we're going to need three more triangles. So we're going to grab three more triangles. Wrong basket. But because we already started that one, we technically only need two. Again, counting is your friend. As long as you can count to 10, you can do this. So we're going to mark this off here. I accidentally marked off this row, so we're going to do this one real quick. Now for this row, we need an extra color, which is going to be color 725. But I think we only need that one of this. Actually, we need a couple of them. So we're going to pour out just a couple of them. And I need one heart. And from there, you should be able to just count and figure out where things go. So I'm going to need one heart. And from where we're at, we're going to skip two and put it on the third one. So we need that one heart there. And then for the 725, which is this yellow color, we need two right above the heart. So right where it starts and then out. And I'll put that back in my little container holder here. And actually we need one more of the 725, which makes it easy with the containers there. Actually, this one's gonna go here because we're gonna need two triangles. Then it's that symbol. And then we're gonna need three X's. So it is a little time consuming, four. But since we started, we only need three. It is a little time consuming, but once you get the hang of it, it's not so bad. Um, this is very hard for me. Like it's very hard to talk and do this at the same time because of how much you have to count. Um, so let's see, let's see, we're gonna need two X's because I have to make sure that I'm getting out the correct number. And then four triangles. And then two circles, but we already have one down from that first line, so we're just gonna put down one. And then we have the heart, three X's. two triangles, and then three circles. It's technically four, but we already have one down, so we only need three. And then this whole next row is nothing but X's, okay? So then we're gonna do the X's. And that one went on upside down. Okay. So it's easy to just find that pattern and go. And essentially that is how I work on my converted cross stitch. Three, four, five. So we're gonna do five of this color. And then we're gonna do five of this next one. And then we need five of the circles. Three, four, five of the circles. Technically, we only need four because we had just started. Again, counting is your friend. And that's gonna complete another row. And then we have, coming up next, we have three X's. I tried to keep the tutorial t down in size, like time but I wanna make sure that you guys seen enough of me doing it to kind of get the grasp of how to do it. A lot of folks have already started doing conver converted cross stitch. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So yeah, a lot of people have already started doing this type of diamond painting. To you, I commend you because this is hard. Um, so then we're gonna do one X, and we're right back down at the bottom, and we see that it did it does match up. So there should be two X's here, and there are. And then we're gonna do three circles because that's what it calls for next. Three circles. And then one circle right where the first one began here. And then we need five triangles. We have some trash here, but I'll get that out here in a few minutes. So we have five triangles. The next row has triangles all the way to the end. So the rest of this row here is all triangles. But I w yeah, I wanted to see, I wanted you guys to see enough of me doing it that you kind of grasp the concept. So I do apologize for the length of this video. Usually my tutorials are a little bit shorter than this, but I just wanted to make sure you guys got it, okay? So then we should have one orange here, and then we should have seven of the bright yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One orange, and then one dark red. Boom, okay? Going up, we should have one dark red, three oranges, and then five yellows, one, two, three, four, five, and then that orange on the end, and that completes that square, okay? So there you have it. That is how I'm working on my converted cross stitch. So hopefully this was at all helpful to you. Um, if it was, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up so it can boost it in the algorithm so more people that are trying to learn how to do converted cross stitch diamond painting can see the video to, so that they can learn as well. Um, if this wasn't at all helpful to you because you already know how to do this, thank you at least for watching. Share it with a friend. Maybe it might help them. But either way, I got to get out of here now because it's been 30 minutes. So I do apologize again for the time. But I hope you guys got the understanding of how I do my converted cross stitch and you will find your own way in this particular type of diamond painting. It is a little bit difficult, I would say. You do not want to do this as a beginner, but if you're brave enough, have at it. With that said, folks, I must now bid you adieu, but not before reminding you to stay safe out here in these crafty streets and always remember to be kind to others because you never know what somebody else is going through. Be courteous because it's the right thing to do and always stay cool. Thank you for coming by and seeing us here in the coffee house and we hope to see you again soon, whether that be in YouTube land or Twitch, but either way, we'll see you when we see you. Bye!